Hey there, welcome to Ledger Tutorials. I'm Mo from Ledger, and today I'm going to walk you through migrating from a software wallet to a Ledger hardware wallet. When you migrate from a software wallet to a Ledger wallet, you are choosing to increase the security of your self-custody setup. Having self-custody of your digital assets in a software wallet means that they aren't 100% safe. Software wallets require an internet connection, and they still face risks from malware and hacking threats targeted at your operating system or browser. By moving to a Ledger hardware wallet, you are generating private keys offline and therefore reducing risks considerably. Also because Ledger devices regularly receive firmware updates and support new developments like clear signing, you're future-proofing the security of your digital assets. In this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about migrating from a software wallet to a Ledger device. So let's get started. You will need your Ledger wallet, Ledger Live downloaded on your mobile or desktop device. For this demo, we will be using Ledger Live Mobile and access to your preferred software wallet either on mobile or desktop. To start, open Ledger Live, go to My Ledger, and install the blockchain apps that correspond to the digital assets you want to send. In this video, I'll install the apps for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana on Ledger Live. Now you can add new accounts for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. This will generate new addresses on each blockchain to which you can send your digital assets. To do this, tap Wallet in the lower left-hand corner. Next, tap the chain such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Solana that you would like to create a new wallet address on. Then tap Receive. This will prompt you to connect to your Ledger device via Bluetooth and open the respective app. Your wallet will automatically begin looking for and generating a wallet address to use. Afterwards, you will be prompted to verify the address as this is critical for securing this transaction. The address will be displayed on your phone and Ledger device. If both screens display the same wallet address, click Confirm on your Ledger device. This action creates and stores your own set of offline private keys with the secure element chip in your Ledger device. Once these addresses are set up, you can safely send your digital assets to them from the addresses your software wallet controls. Then you'll have your assets stored at an address that you and only you control through your Ledger wallet, and the risk of using the software wallet is removed. All of these addresses are controlled using the private keys stored securely offline in your Ledger device. Now your Ledger device is ready to receive assets from your software wallet. Now that you've set up new addresses to receive your digital assets, you can send them from the addresses controlled by your software wallet. It's important to note that this process works the same across all software wallets, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using Phantom and MetaMask. Open your software wallet and select the assets you want to transfer if this is the first time you've done this and you want to reduce the impact of making a mistake, you can always send a small transaction first as a test. When prompted for an address to send the assets to, copy the receiving address from Ledger Live after having verified it on your Ledger wallet and paste it in. It's important to double check that the address you've pasted in your software wallet matches the one on your Ledger device. If you're sure they match, you can initiate and confirm the transaction through your software wallet. If you would like, you can check and track the transaction using the Blockchain Explorer, such as SolScan for Solana. If you've sent your assets to the new addresses controlled by your hardware wallet, Ledger Live will reflect the amounts transferred in when they arrive. Depending on the network, this can take some time, and you may have to wait several minutes. When you see your assets have arrived, you can send more or start transferring other assets to the different addresses you've set up. Verify each transaction carefully. This may take some time, but it's important to get these transfers right, especially if you're moving your assets to your Ledger device for the long term. If you want to continue using your software wallet in the most secure way, you can do this by connecting it to your Ledger wallet. One question you might ask yourself is why would you do this in the first place? Well, you might find that some Web3 services can only be accessed using a software wallet. 
And by using a software wallet with your Ledger device, you get the convenience of it and the security of storing your private keys offline, free from compromise. It's the best of both worlds. If you want to use this setup, check the description for links to our tutorials about using MetaMask or Phantom with your Ledger wallet. In this video, we covered all the important steps involved in migrating from a software wallet to your Ledger device. If you want to review a specific step, you can scroll through the chapters down below. To find more information about everything we covered, make sure to check out the links in the description. Thank you for watching this Ledger tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for more, and if you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to add them below. Till next time, stay secure.